Hey guys, today we'll be studying the effects of heat on vitamin C. Vitamin C is an essential nutrient that's only found naturally in fruits and vegetables. It acts as an antioxidant by binding to free radicals and neutralizing them. It is therefore important for our growth and maintenance of teeth, gums and blood vessels. However, to get the most vitamin C out of fruits or vegetables, they must be eaten raw as when exposed to heat, vitamin C will be destroyed. To prove this, a tomato is first blended into a paste. The tomato juice is then filtered out from the paste with a filter paper and a measuring cylinder as seen in the time lapse at the beginning of the video. Here we can see that the tomato paste is poured into the filtering apparatus for filtration. Multiple apparatus were set up to speed up the filtering process. And milliliters of tomato juice is carefully measured and then separated into two different test tubes labeled A and B. Test tube B is left at room temperature while test tube A is put in a water bath set to 75 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes. Originally the plan was to have multiple temperatures but the water bath was fixed to only 75 degrees Celsius. After 5 minutes, test tube A is removed from the water bath and left to cool. A starch solution is then made and 10 drops of starch solution is added to each test tube. Iodine drops were then added, one drop every 3 minutes. The original plan was to use DCPIP, however at the time it was unavailable.
experiment, it's clear that test tube A changes color with a lower amount of iodine. This is because vitamin C acts as an oxidizer and reacts with the iodine solution to form iodide ion. Iodide ions will not react with the starch and will not change the starch's color. And since vitamin C concentration has decreased in test tube A, iodine does not react with the ascorbic acid and therefore reacts with the starch instead, changing its color faster in test tube A. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.